Welcome back to the Diligent Minds Podcast, where I provide practical steps for you to become a better you. I'm your host, Dorian Jones. Let's get into it. What's going on, Diligent Minds community? Happy Monday to you. I'd like to welcome all the new listeners. Thank you for choosing me out of all the options that you had. Returning listeners, I appreciate you very much. Don't forget to leave that rating and review on Apple Podcasts. And also check out the links down in the show notes. I have that free online course to help you build that confidence. So go ahead, sign up for that. No credit card required. And check out the rest of the links that I have down there. Talk to me. Send me a text message. uh, Send me a message on Instagram. Say what's up. Whatever it is, just introduce yourself and uh, let's get acquainted. Uh, We're going to dive right into today's episode. I'm just giving an update on my life. Uh, Just things that I got going on, things um, that I've been working on, how I'm feeling and and just my regular routine. So we're just going to dive into it. I know I rarely talk too much about myself, which is something that I want to incorporate a little bit more of. I want to give you guys more insight on on myself, a little bit more of what I do and allow you to build a relationship and a connection with me. And this isn't just recently. This is this whole year. And ever since I started with anything that I do, I've been working on improving and looking for ways to get to the next level, to provide more value, to give you guys more information, to help you become better, because it's I always make it about you guys. But it's more about about the message and the mission that I'm pushing and about the the long term game that I'm playing. And I'm always looking for the next thing that I can do to make it that much better. And I feel like I'm slacking. I feel like it's a lot more that I can do. I don't know if that's me being hard on myself or if that's just me being a realist. I'm not sure which one it is, but I know for sure that I can come a little bit better and I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to improve and make that 1% improvement every single day, 2% improvement for the weekend. Just continue on to let it compound and continue to provide value for you guys to help you become better, help you become better versions of yourself, achieve your goals. Do all these things that I promised you I would do, so I always look for different ways for me to do that. And that's what I've been working on so far and I've been I have a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. I have a lot of things coming in. Sometimes it feels like I'm just talking, I'm just talking, but I know that I'm doing the work and I don't like to say too much or show anything until it's a finished product. So that's just me personally. I don't know if any of you can relate to that. If you're just out there doing the work and then you just like to show it when it's finished. Uh, I know some people like to do the build ups. They like to speak on it and and bring it into fruition. But I like to actually do the work and let the work speak for itself. And speaking on that, I've been looking for more speaking gigs. I'm looking to get back out there on the road, looking to hit more conferences and get back on stage and inspiring and reaching a lot more people. Because when I'm on stage, I'm talking to a crowd that's more than likely has never heard of me. So that gives me an opportunity to reach more people and to really get my message out there. And that's how I feel like I'm going to spread it a lot more is speaking and um, through YouTube, which I'm going to talk about that a little later in this episode. But I want to get back out there and get back on that road and just start speaking at more conferences. So I'm always doing the work every single day looking for new events. And, you know, you get those emails, you email it out and you don't get a response. But, you know, you get a thousand no's for that one. Yes. So I continue to send different emails to colleges, different conferences that I see um, that are starting next year or later this year, seeing if they're booked up already. Uh, Just trying to get on that bill to get out there and make an impact. The book is coming out next month. Uh, I decided on the date finally. It's going to be August 20th. Uh, So the book is coming out. The book is already done. It's been done for a while now, but I just like to process everything a little bit slowly because I want to make sure my paperwork is right. I'm making my own publishing company. So it's things to do on the back end that people don't see. People always think that you just write the book and just put it out like, no, it's a lot of work that goes into it. And even with that, with writing a book, I wrote the book over some years because I'm not a writer. I'm not a writer. It was just something that I wanted to knock out and I felt like I had to give this information out to the world and I want to make it right. I want to make it all align with each other, align with my message and what I do. And when I first wrote the book, it didn't align with anything at all. It was just me writing some words and it had no direction. So I had to rewrite it and rewrite it and rewrite it until I finally felt like, okay, this is the this is something I really want to put out. So I have that it's ready, it's formatted. The book is named. Uh, Everything is done. Everything is done. Just waiting for some paperwork to uh, finalize. And then you will have that finished product. 
The name of the book is called Separating from the Pack. And it talks all about you separate not just from from your uh, like your surroundings, but separating from your old beliefs, the way that you feel, uh, just becoming a new version of yourself, recreating yourself, uh, actually deconstructing to reconstruct yourself in a way. It's going to be a very good read for anyone who's struggling, anyone who's looking to to create a better life for themselves, looking for a better quality of, of living. Uh, this book is going to be for you. It's going to break it down for you. It's going to talk all about it. It's not so much about myself. I share a lot of my experiences because everything that I do comes from personal experience. It's not something that I've read, even though I do research a little bit here and there. But most of the things come from my experiences. I'm speaking from firsthand experience, not from someone else's perspective. So that book is coming out again, August 20th. I will have the link for you. Um, I'll let you know when I'll give you more updates as it come up. And as I get the pre-orders and all that good stuff ready, uh, you will know about it. And I've been posting a lot less on social media, especially Instagram. Well, that's really the only one I use. But I started to post less because it doesn't reach people anymore. You uh, not YouTube. Um, Instagram's algorithm has gotten crazy. They just show what they want to show and. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want to spend too much time on there. Social media is very draining. So I put stuff here and there. But my regular schedule, what I used to do, I stopped sticking to it because it felt like it was just it just wasn't reaching people. Everyone, it'll sometimes my post, it'll show to only less than two or three percent of my following. And it just got to the point where it's, I feel like I'm just like on this hamster wheel of content creation. And it felt like a, it started to feel like a job. And I didn't want that when I left my job. I didn't want to feel like I'm like I'm working again. I want to feel like I'm like I'm living my purpose and I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And with content creation, trying to figure out how to reach new people via Instagram, it just got it just got so overwhelming. So I had to step back from it. And that's when I'm just going to focus on more community building, community building with you guys and posting more on YouTube because the discoverability on there is much better. And then the monetization as well. So um, if you're not on there, if you haven't checked me out, go check out the link down below. I have my YouTube page linked where I post videos every single Friday. So you could check those out and you can learn and improve kind of like what you get on the podcast, but more of a visual of it. You get to see me. You get to actually see the edits that I make to it. And I'm still making better edits to it. I'm still learning. And it's it's exciting. It's very exciting to to see how this future is going to go with the YouTube uh, transition. And it's something I'm going to keep doing, not just right now is not just for the money it's to help more people as you know i'm all about the people and once i build my community to the way i want it then i'm gonna do my own conference i'm gonna do a diligent minds uh conference i don't know if it'll be called diligent minds conference but it'll be a conference that's gonna start off as a virtual conference probably just to get the just to get the feel for it get the feel of setting it up getting people in marketing it doing all those things before i go and start to do an in-person conference which it's something that I'm really excited for. I want to create a, a dope environment for you, an environment where you feel like you're welcome, where you feel like, OK, this is where I need to be. You feel inspired. You feel motivated. Uh, you get to network, meet different people. I have this whole vision of how the conference is going to go, and I'm so excited to get to that point. So I'm just doing the work right now to get there because that's one of my like one of my things at the top of my list to do to do my conference and have it every single year, have people come out and feel like they're a better person just because they attended the conference. They met people, they learned things, they enjoyed themselves. They feel more alive from leaving the conference. That's the type of environment that I'm going to create. So I'm continuing to build my community as we speak. So you guys are a part of my community and I truly appreciate you, especially those of you who's been here with me through all the ups and downs, the things that I've went through, the things that I'm going through. As a person, because I'm not perfect, um, I tell people that all the time I'm on this journey and I'm transparent with you guys. I'm not trying to fake it. I'm not trying to say that I have all the answers that I've made multi million dollars. I'm not selling you any of that stuff. I'm telling you the real me. I'm giving you uh, me raw, no filter, just me being real with you being transparent so that you don't feel so insecure, feel like you're the only one out here in this world that's still figuring things out. So that's what I'm giving you guys. So I'm telling you the 100 percent truth. So once we build that conference, we're going to have a good time with that. I've always had a hard time with with self-care, with really taking out time for myself, finding that real balance in life. So I've been doing that a lot now. I've been doing that a lot recently with my time. I make sure that I stop working at certain times because I usually get up in the morning 
I go work out. I come back. I get on the computer, you know, eat, do all the, you know, do the normal things. But then I get on the computer and I'm sitting here all day and I sometimes feel like like if I'm not on the computer, if I'm not doing anything, then I'm not being productive. Then every hour need to be accounted for every second need to be accounted for. I need to be doing something that's going to push me forward when in reality I was burning myself out. So I had to find that balance. So I started to watch a little bit more movies. I started to pick up that again. I enjoy watching movies, uh, you know, making some popcorn, getting some snacks, just chilling out, maybe pouring a glass of wine, just chilling, watching some movies, um, playing uh, the video games, which I don't really have too many video games. I'm pretty bad at them, actually. Uh, So I've been doing that just to get that balance back in my life, just so that I could have that that refresher. And uh, speaking on the movies, I like to watch a lot of action movies, comedy. I I just like good movies in general, drama. I don't care what genre they are. As long as they're a good movie and it has a good timeline, then I'm into it. Uh, So my social life has been a little crazy. It's been a little off and I need to get back to that. I need to get back to feeling like me uh, because I've been on this whole cycle of work and work and work and let me get work done. Let me make every minute, every day, every second count. When in reality, I need to take that breather for myself. And that's sometimes a reason for me Um, to skip some weeks on the podcast. If you noticed over the past few months, I've done it. So that's where that comes from. That just comes from me getting that balance back in my life. Um, I'm working on it. Like I said, I'm a work in progress and I'm here with you being honest. And, um, you know, we're going to continue to grow better. Overall, so far this year, it's it's been a really fast year, Uh, but I feel good. I feel good about the direction that I'm going. I feel good about the, the place that I'm in right now, mentally, emotionally, I'm still working on it, still working on improving, as we said earlier. But right now, I feel like I'm in a good place. I feel like I'm better. I feel like I'm further than I was last year. I'm comparing myself to me. Even earlier this year, I feel like I have more clarity. I have more vision and my eyes are wide open to more opportunities, more more ways for me to grow, more ways for me to improve as as myself first uh, before I even improve to help you guys become better. It's just me as an individual. I feel like I've grown a lot. I feel like I still have a lot of growing to do, which is going to continue to happen because of the path that I'm going on. Uh, So I'm just I just want to give you guys a quick update on things that I have going on, how I'm feeling to let you know that, you know, Dorian, the person that you hear over this, over your audio, your headphones, whatever. I'm still a work in progress. I'm still a person that's out here working, figuring it out. I don't have all the answers. And uh, I'm just like you. I'm just like you. I'm still out here grinding day to day. I'm still going through it. I still go through life Uh, just because you like the advice doesn't mean that I have all of the answers and I'll be the first to tell you that. But everything that I have, I'm going to give to you. I'm going to pour my heart and my soul into this and help you out as much as I can. So I hope you can appreciate that. I hope you understand it. And um, that's about it for this episode. Don't forget to reach out to me uh, down below. Send me a text message. Um, As some of you know, you know that I'm real chill. I'm real cool. We talk, we laugh and uh, check out that online course, that free one, that building that confidence. That's the first bottom level that you need to have. You need to build that confidence and know that you can do it. So I have that free online course for you down below. And um, I'll see you on the other side. Don't forget to check out the YouTube video as well. Well, not video, but the channel. And um, go ahead and enjoy your day, your week, your night, whatever it is for you. And remember, everybody has greatness within, even you.